We've seen in the introduction that the objects we will be dealing with are uh, mostly uh, sequences over some alphabet. Uh, and um, in this first lesson, we want to uh, kind of work out the mathematical framework for, for dealing with uh, objects of this kind. So the basic here will be uh, sequence spaces. And uh, as we have also seen in the introduction, that often these uh, sequences are, are generated in in kind of a randomized uh, environment. So there, for we will need random variables. And um, uh, since we're dealing with uh, sequences of, uh, of symbols that are uh, possibly generated by some random process, we will also take a look at probabilistic processes. So let's start with uh, finite sequences. In our context, finite sequences are usually called strings. And a string is uh, always defined over some alphabet, uh, which we denote by A. And an alphabet can be pretty much any set. Um, but uh, usually for us, it will be um, the binary alphabet. That's the most important case where uh, A is just a set uh, containing uh, 0 and 1. Uh, or more, a little bit more general, if we look at finite alphabets, where we just have finitely many symbols here. We can also have infinite alphabets, um, um, uh, like uh, the natural numbers or the integers. Uh, but also, one could consider uh, continuous alphabets. So these all are discrete ones. and. Uh, here we could have the, the real numbers or the, the uh, closed unit interval. Those are um, continuous alphabets. And a string over an alphabet A is just a, a finite sequence of symbols over that alphabet. So sigma here, so you, in general we, we denote uh, strings by uh, uh, letters, Greek letters like sigma, tau, and so on. Um, and uh, a string is just a, a finite sequence of, of uh, sigma 0, sigma 1, up to sigma k minus 1, um, where each of these uh, sigma i's is an element of the alphabet. And here k is the length of the string. And the length is denoted by um, this um, absolute value symbol. So, for example, here we have a binary string and, uh, that has nine symbols in it. So it's length nine. And, uh, and uh, I, I just wanted to point out that we also have the, the empty string, uh, which we denote by this. So that's just the unique string of length zero. Strings uh, come with a natural partial ordering. And, uh, this partial ordering is, is given by the initial segment relation. So um, we uh, say that the string sigma is an initial segment of tau if there is a string such that if we extend sigma by this string eta, we obtain tau. So here this is, denotes the concatenation uh, operation. And uh, since this is like initial segment or equal, this uh, eta could possibly be. For example, um, 0, 1, 1, 0 is an initial segment of 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. And uh, here, the string eta, by which we have to extend sigma to obtain tau, would be the string 0, 1, 1. The ordering is uh, partial uh, because, for example, 0, 1, 1, and uh, 1, 1 are not comparable. So neither of those two strings is an initial segment of, of the other. So uh, not every two strings are comparable under this relation here. Here I have uh, sketched all strings uh, over the binary alphabet up to length 3. So um, we start with the empty string. And then if we extend the empty string by the 0 or 1, we get 0, 1. If we extend 0 by 0, we get 0, 0. 
If we extend it by one, we get zero, one, and so on. And then here we have the eight possible strings of length three. And if we if we just look at this uh, structure here, uh, this reminds of uh, of something uh, which we would call a tree, right? So there's something that would be the root here, and then there's branches going off, and from those branches, other branches go off, and so on. And uh, this intuition is indeed captured by a mathematical structure that is called a tree. So some notation, we again work with alphabet A. A to the N denotes all the strings of over A of length N. And uh, A to the less than uh, N uh, denotes the set of all strings over A. And um, in uh, computer science or uh, form, uh, formal language theory, it's, it's often uh, um, the symbol A star is used to denote this set. Now a tree over alphabet A is a subset uh, of all the set of all strings over A. Um, and uh, such a subset is called a tree over A if it is closed downwards under the initial segment relation. That means if uh, I have an string tau that is in the set T, and I have an initial segment of it, then that initial segment must also be in T. So here we have an example, we could uh, again regard this as a part of the uh, binary tree, so the root here, this element, so if this element would be in here, then this initial segment of it has to be in for in order for it to be a tree. So here would be an example of something not being a tree. And on the previous page, we uh, saw something that was a tree structure, and indeed it's called the complete binary tree of level three. Level three because it uh, contains all the sequence of finite strings, finite binary strings, uh, up to length three.